if you look at the goals together, it's quite clear to see that there's uh, distinct overlaps between each of the goals. Uh, for example, if you take goal two, which looks at addressing hunger, goal six, which looks at access to safe water, and goal 15, which is concerned with protecting terrestrial ecosystems and forests, you know, many tropical landscapes are going to be faced with these issues together and it's going to require a holistic approach to managing them. And so certainly a landscape approach offers you that opportunity to, to, to address them holistically. And if you don't, there's a danger of uh, focusing too much attention on one goal and that could be to the detriment of achieving the targets of another goal. For example, if you, you can make great progress in uh, boosting food production, but this could be uh, affecting your, your targets towards halting deforestation in that landscape. Primarily, policymakers need to consider the impacts their policies will have across uh, local, national, and global scales. There's no point uh, creating policies to meet global targets if they're not cognizant of the effects the policies are likely to have at local and national scales. Yeah, and I'd say uh, on top of that, policymakers need to be aware of the impact of the policies they're making. So, for example, how uh, a policy for one one sector could impact the ability of another sector operating within the landscape. The signs are really encouraging. There's been a movement away from the Millennium Development Goals, which really place an onus on developing countries and meeting their targets. This document is definitely a whole lot more inclusive, and there's been really strong commitments from both developed and developing nations. Yeah, and in terms of the SDGs and um, and landscape approaches, there's a sort of there's been a big groundswell of support for from everyone really asking for these calling for these um, more integrated and holistic approaches. The water sector, the agricultural sector, the energy sector, um, they've all produced documents making calls, asking for um, more integrated and holistic approaches. But um, there's, you know, there's a lot of theory out there, but we really haven't got anything concrete that has been put into practice as, as of yet. So there's a lot of potential for the landscape approach to sort of meet these um, meet these requirements from everybody, but uh, it's really time to put um, theory into practice and test to see if it's going to work.